I pay for all my groceries. I pay for my stuff. And when I see people steal, I, I am not a fan of thieves and yeah. stuff at all. Now at 10, some frustrated shoppers after learning about a grocery store theft in Midland. Police say the man stole more than $900 from a local HEV. Tonight, police are on the hunt for that man. ABC Big 2's Marco Ramirez joins us live in Midland. Marco, shoppers are pretty upset this happened. Well, guys, the man who police say stole from this HEB is still at large, and shoppers I spoke to tell me they are stunned that he was able to get away with so much stuff. It's shocking to know that somebody could get away with that much money in a basket like that. Police are needing help to find this man. They say he stole nearly $1,000 worth of groceries from this HEB on Loop 250 in Midland earlier this month. Shoppers who frequent this store say they are shocked. 911s is, is not somebody who's desperate for groceries. That's a lot of money to go out. You know, it ain't somebody just stole, stealing a pack of meat. Police say the store is able to determine how much money was stolen by tracking what items the suspect collected through their surveillance cameras. Shoppers like Kevin Rhodes think there should be more security to prevent this from happening. You have somebody checking at the door. You know, I know it's kind of a, a, a pain to go through that, but, you know, they can at least say, hey, you got your receipt, just show it, and you're on your way. And seeing someone steal from their grocery store has left many shoppers angry. It makes me upset because we all work hard for our money. And we try and use it as wisely as we can to get it stretched. If caught, the suspect faces a misdemeanor charge. But whatever was the reason why this person stole, shoppers have a message for them. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know, you, there's a lot better ways. If you're actually desperate for groceries and stuff, there's plenty of stuff in the community to help you out. Reach out to an agency that can help, whether it be a church or, you know, one of the food banks, and, and tell them what's going on. Now, I did reach out to management here at this HEB, but they did not want to comment. If you know who the suspect is, call police or Midland Crime Stoppers. Reporting live in Midland, I'm Marco Ramirez, ABC Big 2 News.